a la guard. I want to become a singer. Good. What do you want to sing? I don't know really. Boing, boing, boing. Ayla was the first honorary hero. She's a nine-year-old little girl, and she kicked cancer. My name is Mike Potts, and I am an independent artist that travels the country, and I'm gonna be working with 12 individual honorary heroes. They're all young kids who have experienced some sort of leukemia lymphoma ailment. We're gonna do fun things with them and kind of highlight who they are and see the child, not so much the disease. You know, the idea is to illustrate a year in the life of 12 honorary heroes. So we're doing that through art. We're also doing a fundraiser uh, for Ayla. And we're doing that through a little collage and their views of what they love and what they like. We made a collage with Mike. We did the things that I like. Dogs and like offering and creepy stuff. Your mom told us that you missed the first day of kindergarten. And what was going on that day when you missed the first day of kindergarten? You were in the hospital. I was in the hospital. What was going on? Do you remember? Not really it much. It was a long time ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Didn't you have to go home from school just the other day? What was wrong with that? That I was just getting like in pain and high fevers. You had a bad cough and stuff like that? No cough. No cough. <coughs> We decided that her first day of school would be whenever she was well enough to go, and we would celebrate that day. <laughs> this was one year ago, right here. If you could go anywhere, where would you go? I would like to fly in the sky on a unicorn, because I like unicorns, and I want to like to fly. Yo, Are you filming yeah. this? Her personality is just contagiously enthusiastic. I mean, you can't help but want to do more and be more when you're around her. Why am I doing this? Yeah, why are you doing this? Uh, about a year ago, I got involved with team and training after a family that raised me, the oldest brother, passed away. He was just contagiously enthusiastic, and he, had, he, he, was, he never made you feel like you were anything less than the most important person in the room, and he meant it. He was the coolest guy. What was he diagnosed with? You know, it's a blood-related cancer. I mean, I, I would think that I should know that, you know, but I don't. Being involved is helping me understand what happened to the Angleton family when they lost David and what happened to David specifically. When I'm with the kids, I want to concentrate more on what we're doing together and not what they've been victimized with. And I want to take them out of the light of being a victim and bring them into the light of being a contributor or empowered in their own situation. Can these guys just have a normal day? The one thing that I thought was the coolest thing about Ayla is that when I was at her house doing the project with her and her family, She's like, well, will you dance with me tomorrow at the fundraiser? And I kind of reluctantly said, yeah, hoping that she would forget about it. Because I don't dance. And we are celebrating the kickoff uh, party for the whole tour, for the whole four-month, 12-city tour. I've got a little mystery painting back here. I'm going to be painting for the next hour. While I'll be painting up on stage, people can have uh, an option to go in and actually kind of get dirty themselves. It's basically it's a big paint by numbers. So there's four quadrants. Here you can see like there's a zero and a three and a two, and you'll come in here and you'll coordinate the color with that. All four go together and make one big mystery paint. And for the price of a ticket to do it, you register to win the entire thing, and all those proceeds go to Ayla's family. Ayla, she comes over, she goes, hey. Remember when you, yesterday you promised me you were going to dance? Are we going to dance? I'm like, yeah. I try to get everybody else to dance with me so that I don't have to do this by myself and that's not happening. I couldn't hardly get anybody else to dance. It was really hard to get out of my comfort zone. I sure felt like a silly guy, but I realized when I was doing it that that's what it's got to be about. Like the whole trip has to be about getting out of your comfort zone. The beautiful thing is that this little girl, without even trying, just by instinct and by nature, challenge me to step outside of my comfort zone. And there's not a thing that I can do for them that they're gonna that I that can compete with what they're gonna inherently give back to me through this experience. So, Ayla, thank you for the dance, and uh, thank you for the good time, and 
again, you're just she, or you, whatever, a, a, a contagiously enthusiastic little spirit. And a ball of blessing is the best the way that I can put it. A ball of blessing. And, and I feel just lucky as all could be to be doing this whole tour. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much for talking with us, Adam. Okay. We're going to put this up no, no, no. online. Uh, it's, it's, it's a true then you can see it. Okay, okay. just don't put my sister on camera or she'll flip out. What is your favorite uh, music band again? I forgot. And I don't say Justin Bieber because I... One Direction! One Direction! I am forgot. One, two words! Two words. One,